get in the environment. And when you emerge yourself in that culture, in that environment, of course you are working to earn money, but you are also working to learn. Meaning what you take from your nine to five, you can go back home from six to whenever and apply it to your own business. So I have some really exciting news. The Responsible Homegirl is now taking sponsorships. So what does that mean? If you are a business owner, you can promote your business on the Responsible Homegirl podcast. And we have plenty of listeners across YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and even Spotify. So if you are wanting to increase your brand awareness, get more sales, all of that good stuff, start advertising your business on the Responsible Homegirl podcast. Click the link below and I'll send the information directly to your email. Now let's get right into the episode. Get your water and keep some wine. I should have had some wine. With exposure, execution, and consistency, there is nothing you can't do. Just keep planting. Hey y'all, thank you so much for tuning back into another episode on the Responsible Homegirl podcast. I am Kiani, the Responsible Homegirl, and this is a space that I have created so young adults can become financially responsible and wealth conscious. So today, I want to talk to you about passion over paycheck. Mm. This is a topic that I am super passionate about because I can just remember being in high school and looking up jobs that earn six figures, careers that earn six figures. I was chasing money, and literally chasing money will leave you empty-handed it will leave you out here crazy like i was doing all of this for that like no you can have all of the money in the world and be miserable so i'm going to be speaking to you about this one chapter in the book called rich dad poor dad reading that book literally changed my life but this chapter talked about how the rich don't work for money they work to learn so after you watch this or after you listen to this i hope that you are very intentional with where you are spending your time, where you are working, and what you are pursuing. Point blank, period. So starting off, what does it mean to work, to learn, and not work for money? Now, you could have a job where you are working to learn and not working for money. So I'll give y'all a perfect example. When I graduated college, my first job was with AmeriCorps. Now, it wasn't really a job. I call it a job because, of course, I got compensated but I didn't get compensated like a whole lot or like how a recent college grad would, would be compensated. But I knew when I accepted that position that I was clearly, my whole intention was to work to learn and to not just work because of a paycheck. I knew going into that program that I was gonna learn how does a government entity work with people who need financial assistance? Financial assistance. How do they tackle financial issues? How do they work with people in the community? So because I was so invested in the responsible home girl, I was like, I need me a job that is also going to benefit the responsible home girl. So if you have a boutique or you have a clothing line and you currently work a nine to five, you need to be at someone's retail store working at a clothing line, I mean, a clothing brand, a shoe store, something so you can see how they have scaled their idea to a million dollar company, point blank period. Because what is that going to show you? It's going to give you insight that you may not know just starting off right at the gate. It's going to give you insight that you might can't just Google, that you might can't type in on YouTube. Get in the environment. And when you emerge yourself in that culture, in that environment, of course you are working to earn money, but you are also working to learn. Meaning what you take from your nine to five, you can go back home from six to whenever and apply it to your own business. Apply it to your own brand, something that you know that you are going to eventually have full, full time, that you know that you are going to be working full time one day. So put yourself in a position to win. Pursue your passion over paycheck, over a paycheck. So I know that there are instances where people sometimes battle like, should I take this job or should I do this? Should I do that? All of that, I would say, goes back to your goals. But if you know for a fact that you aspire to be a business owner one day, part of the sacrifice in being an entrepreneur is making financial sacrifices. Because just straight off the gate, you're not going to have a million dollar business. You have to work your way towards that. You have to learn a lot of lessons. You have to 
basically enjoy the process to get to that. Pursue your passion over a paycheck. Do what it is that you love. Because when you do what you love, the money will come. When you do what you love, you can show up consistently. When you do what you love, you have no problem adding value to other people's lives. And that is how we get money. If you want money, create value. I read that in a book, Rich and Righteous, and it totally changed everything for me. If you want money, create value. Think about why Apple is a trillion dollar brand. Because they have created value through an iPhone. They have created value through MacBooks. They have created value through Apple Watches. And what do we do? We give them our hard earned money. Because they have added value to our lives. But was Apple a trillion dollar brand when they first started? Absolutely not. He started the company in his garage. But as you pursue your passion and you are consistent and you continuously show up, the money will follow. And that is the same thing that I believe over the responsible homegirl. The responsible homegirl may not be producing the income that I desire for it right now, but I'm not thinking about right now. I'm thinking about what my consistency or how my consistency will change my bank account five years from now, 10 years from now. And if you could just stay invested, if you can just stay invested, it will pay off. It will pay off. How do I know that? For one, I read the word of God, period. I'll share this scripture that I am always reciting, always saying over myself. It's even on my lock screen. And it is Galatians 6, 9. And it says, so let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Now, that scripture can be interpreted in so many ways. But because we're talking about pursuing your passion over a paycheck, let's let's break it down and put it in that um let's put it in that framework so let's not get tired of doing what is good nine times out of ten if you are passionate about something it's because you really like it and you want other people to like it or you want to share more you want to teach more that is good you are sharing you are encouraging you are inspiring you are literally doing good work like i said earlier you have to do it consistently so let's not get tired of doing what is good. It is so easy to get tired of showing up consistently. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Because there are plenty of times where I don't feel like producing content. I don't feel like recording. I don't feel like learning more so I can share more. But guess what? I do it because that is how invested I am in personal finances, in creating more financially responsible young adults, and creating more young adults who are wealth conscious. So my passion helps me keep doing good. So don't get tired of doing good. Now, the second thing here, at just the right time, you will reap a harvest of blessing if you don't give up. That's my, that is my hope right there. That is my belief. I believe that this is true. You will reap a harvest of blessing if you don't give up. So, Kiani, if you are consistent, Kiani, if you keep showing up at just the right time, not my time, but God's time, I will reap a harvest of blessing. So, when I say when you are pursuing your passion over a paycheck, the money will come, this is why. Because God sees you. And if you don't believe the word, look at the lives of other people. Look at Oprah. Look at Beyonce. Look at Tyler Perry. Look at people who may be in your your daily walk, entrepreneurs in your local hometown. Y'all, their businesses did not start like that when they opened up shop. It took consistency. It took hard work. But guess what? They didn't give up. And because they didn't give up, they reap a harvest of blessing. So I hope that this really encouraged you to think about why you're doing what you're doing. No matter what, pursue your passion over paycheck. Over paycheck. And even if you're not wanting to be an entrepreneur and you're in corporate America or you're doing whatever, that still applies. If you know you want to be a writer, but you make more month money as an accountant, why are you doing that? Pursue your passion. Life is so short. Life is so short and money is not our master. I will stand on this ground forever. 
Money should be serving us. We should not be serving it. Make today your last day saying that you have money issues. You don't have money issues. You have management issues. This is exactly why I created my ebook called Lifestyle Budgeting. Lifestyle Budgeting is the perfect, perfect resource for anyone who is tired of living paycheck to paycheck, tired of missing out on trips and going out to eat and doing different things that you love to do because the money isn't there. If you're tired of your savings account looking super duper sad, you don't have any discipline, you need the Lifestyle Budgeting ebook, okay? So make sure you click the link below in the description box to purchase your copy. Also, use the discount code, execute. Use that discount code, you get 10% off. Make sure you purchase the ebook and let's get back to the episode. Know who you are and know why you are doing what you're doing. Always remember, with exposure, execution, and consistency, there is nothing you can't do. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, review the podcast if you're listening. I really appreciate y'all and I will see you on the next episode.